everybody, it's Kelly, and I'm going to show you how to do the waffle stitch today. It's a nice thick stitch that yields a nice warm blanket. So this is kind of what it looks like. And stick with me and I'll show you how to make it. Alright, so I've gone ahead and I have chained 19. Now this is kind of strange because it says to do multiples of 3 plus 2. So I've done that and I always come up one short. So what I decided first of all is I always make extra chains and then I can always pull the chains out. Um, but I chain 19 because if you do multiples of three, so you've got three, six, nine, 12, 15. So by the time you do 19, you take two of them away by creating a stitch which leaves you with 17, which is two more than 15. So like I said, just Make a bunch of chains, however long you want, and then just take out whatever you don't need. I, that's the easiest way for me, and then don't get caught up on the counting. Um, okay, so I'm going to start by double crocheting into my second chain from the hook. So that is one, and I'm going to double crochet across until I've got 15, or I'm sorry, 17. Two. Three. So that'll be one repetition. So I just like to count off in threes to make sure that I have the right amount. One. Two, three, one, two. So I had an extra stitch on there that I didn't need, so we'll just take him off later. No harm, no foul. So you will have a little chain here. So now the first thing you want to do is chain up one. Now initially I didn't understand because typically to go up a row and double crochet you chain two or three depending on your pattern, but this one calls for a single stitch and then you kind of ignore that that exists and then treat this as just a plain old double crochet. Now, I've tried to do that both ways, to just chain up and to do this. And chaining up just kind of leaves a big hole. So this, I think, is to limit the amount of extra space on the sides. So now that you've chained one, turned your work, and then double crocheted one, we're going to front post double crochet. And if you're not familiar with what that is, you're just going to take this stitch, and instead of going in here, where you normally would go for a double crochet, just go behind this stitch. So you're just going to double crochet just like that. So that is your front post double crochet, and that is the first little bar of your waffle stitch. So now, naturally you're going to want to ignore where you normally would have gone because that belongs to this stitch. So now you're going to double crochet two in each of the next stitches. I'm sorry, one in each of the next two stitches. That could be a little confusing. So you've done your front post, double crochet, double crochet. You're going to front post again. Double crochet. Oops. Double crochet. 
front post. Double crochet. Double crochet. Front post. Double crochet. Double crochet. Front post. Double crochet. Double crochet. Front post around this guy. And then this little guy on the end here is where we're going to do our last double crochet. So this is what you have. So the reason that you added the extra two, because you do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, and then you start like you're going to add another one. Uh, but then you've got your two on the side to kind of make your border. Um, God, that still doesn't really seem to add up, but it, it just works, I guess. Um, I don't know, maybe I added an extra stitch in there, but either way, it doesn't matter. It's just the first row, and it'll look beautiful when we're done with it. So you're going to do your chain one, turn your work in that same stitch here. You're going to double crochet. So if you are someone who knits, then this will make a lot of sense to you. You know when you're making a stockinette stitch, you do knit on one row and then you turn and you do purl so that you end up having the same stitch when you're looking at the right side. Um, this is kind of the same idea. So because you did the waffle stitch to start on the first one, normally we did the front post, double, double, front post, double, double. Well this time we're going to do a regular crochet because this will keep the front post on the opposite side. And then we're going to front post two. So you're just doing the inverse of what you did on the other side. So now again, and as you go along, your stitches will kind of stick out a little bit more and be a lot more obvious as to which ones you're going to do that to. It's a little hard to tell in the first row, but if you look, you can see it. Again, all we're doing is just a double crochet, front post, double crochet, front post, double crochet, double crochet, Front post, front post, double crochet, front post, front post, double crochet, and double crochet into the last turning thing, stitch chain. So this doesn't look like much, but once we turn it around, we're going to chain one. Now you're starting to see the waffles, yay! So you chain one and you're going to double crochet into the side. This is your border basically. So now we're back to, you see how the, it's out, in, in, out, in, in. So now we're back to 
front post first. Double crochet. Double crochet. Front post double crochet. Double crochet. Double crochet. Front post. Double. Double. Front post. Double. Double. Front post. Double. Double. Front post. And then double into the side. See how we have that nice waffle? So same thing, all you do is just alternate rows two and three. So obviously first row is just the straight double crochet across. So we're gonna chain one, double crochet into that same spot. I don't know why starting this always confuses me so much. So then this row we're just gonna double Front post, front post. Sometimes it just, you know, everybody comes up with these patterns and they say, oh, so many chains, and I have such a hard time getting the same um, count that these people are getting, and I don't know whether I'm just an idiot or what, but. Anything's possible, but I always seem to be able to make it work whether I have to pull out a couple of stitches or not, but I've learned after many times of having difficulty counting that that is just the easiest way to do it. Just make your chain as long as you want. Follow the pattern as many repetitions as you want to do and just pre-count it. What is the, the saying? A stitch in time saves nine or something. You know, it's the same idea. One wrong stitch can make you rip out. 16 rows of a blanket and that's enough to make you just cry so anything you can do to keep from having that happen however it works for you maybe you are super awesome and your counts always come out the way they're supposed to oops almost made a mistake all right and we'll just take a look i always like to just take a quick little inspection of my row to make sure everything looks right. And in this particular pattern, I think it's easier to just flip it around and look at it because that's where the obvious mistakes are, is in the waffle side. So my waffle looks like it's doing what it's supposed to do. So I'll finish with my chain one, flip it around double crochet, same spot. This is super easy, guys. I'm sorry if my beginning was a little bit confusing to you, but now we're just front post, double, double. Front post, Double, double, front post, double, double. So this yarn I'm using is just some leftover um, 
Sweet Roll Yarn from Joanne Fabric. I forget what this particular one is called, but it's real pretty. I made a chevron blanket for my grandmother and it turned out really pretty. Just keep little scraps around for occasions such as this. The color change will happen soon, but I don't know if we'll still be together at that point. Probably. Alright, we're coming to our second to last stitch. I'm trying recording. I got a new phone. I got a Pixel 2 just a few weeks ago. And I'm seeing if it gives me reasonable quality pictures like my DSLR does. So we'll see when I go to upload this. And if it looks terrible, then I'll go back to the old standby. So remember now we're doing the row 3 inverse here. Are y'all getting the hang of this? Looks a lot more exciting than it really is. 